Hello everybody. I want to give a quick tutorial on how to achieve the Ken Burns zoom and pan effect in Camtasia 9. That effect is already preloaded into iMovie for the Mac computer. But if you're using a PC like me and you're using Camtasia 9, you can still achieve a similar effect. The first thing you want to do is to go to your media bin. I already have pictures here, but you want to import your media and the way to do that, you can click that little arrow and click import media, go to whatever folder you have your pictures in and it will load right here into this space. I have already placed the pictures I want to use on the timeline. How do I do that? Just right click the photo and click add to timeline at playhead. And remember this, looks like a little goal, this is your playhead. All right, so also remember to size all of your photos the same at 1280 by 720. That's the size that YouTube uses. So the way to check your project size is to go up above your canvas, click project settings, and click this down arrow under canvas dimensions and you have a whole lot of options Make sure you select 720 HD that says 1280 by 720. Click apply and that is the size for YouTube videos. Okay, once you've done that, you want to check or change the duration of your photos. To really see this effect, you should set your photos to at least 10 seconds in duration. The way to do that is to go under edit Go to Preferences, go to Timing, and here you can adjust the timing of your transitions. I want them there at two seconds of your images. I set it at 10, so all of your, whenever you load images by default, they will show on the screen for 10 seconds. Animations, you can only have up to five seconds for animation, so you can toggle your settings there and click OK. So all of our photos I'm hovering over are set to 10 seconds, okay? So we wanna make sure you do that. And all of them are aligned properly according to the playhead. Let's add some transitions because that Kim Burns effect, it goes, uh, it fades in and out. So we wanna click transitions. And we're just gonna add the fade effect. You can add whatever, transition effect you want to but to achieve this particular zoom and pan effect go ahead and choose fade drag it down to the photo you want it to appear on notice if you drag it towards the center of the picture it shows at the beginning and the end the transition shows at the beginning and the end so again we want to place our playhead over the next picture Pull it towards the center of the picture so that you have that transition at the beginning and at the end. And it's going to be two seconds. The fade will last for two seconds at the beginning of the photo and at the end. Do the same for all of the photos that you have for your slideshow. So we have that fade effect. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like when it goes from photo to photo. So there's a gradual in and out there, as you can see. A gradual in and out. Okay, very good. Now we want to drag the playhead back to the photo we want to start adding the zoom and pan to. So just go to animations, click zoom and pan. Make sure that the picture fills the bounding box and that your picture fills the bounding box here. All right, so you wanna take a handle and we can start the effect anywhere you wanna start it, but let's just drag it up here. This is where the effect will start and release it. Now, when you move it, this is where the effect will end. And as you can see over the photo, there's a little arrow that has appeared. 
that means that that zoom and pan effect is there. But in order for it to slow down and not go so fast, you need to drag it across the entire picture so that it takes a little bit of time. Or if you want it shorter, you can drag it back for a shorter duration. Place your playhead over the next photo and let's start the uh, zoom and pan from the top right, drag it down. And then let's move it up over that word love. And again, drag the arrow all the way across. And you just wanna do this for the rest of your photos here. That's where you wanna start it. So it gives the effect of the picture drifting. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like so far. And see, you have the effect of it drifting across the screen. And it's a slow drift, not a very fast drift. You don't want to give your viewers a headache with the pictures flipping so fast. Okay, very good. Now here's another cool thing that you can do because you already have one zoom and pan effect. Again, if you want to give it more of a feeling of drift, Let's go back to our first photo. Let's go back and we're going to create another zoom and pan. Okay. As you can see here, we have two arrows because you have two zoom and pan effects here. So let's just take a look at how that's going to look. That one goes pretty fast. This one goes slower. So that's even more of how you can get a little bit more illusion of drift, if you would like. So just a couple things you can do when you are creating your own zoom and pan effects or that Ken Burns effect that you can get in iMovie. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful to you. I enjoyed making it. Let me know in a comment section on my YouTube channel, YouTube dot com slash p r o f a r hampton and also go to my channel for more cool videos as well thank you so much and happy creating